Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Tatham Galaxy episode number 5. Alright, the previous episode we had a proxy war going between um, Higuchi and Jogasaki Senpai. And uh, they were kind of doing this from a long time ago because of some kind of uh, like disagreement and like because of a girl or something. Now I kind of said this in the previous episode but like I think the girl that they were fighting like you know uh four was like um he what was the name of that girl the new girl that we saw in the previous episode hanuki wasn't it yeah um hanuki like i think that was the uh like you know girl they were fighting for because like in the end it it kind of at least for me like i think it was implied that she was the girl because as we see like kind of um like you know uh higuchi kind of asking hanuki to go with him and like to the world or something and she rejects him and but uh, like after she like you know uh, higuji goes away uh, Han, hanuki goes with uh, jogasaki senpai and like accepts his uh, invitation to go for a drink and i think that kind of implies that maybe like the girl was her and they were kind of like you know uh, fighting for her affections or something i don't know like this i might be reading too much into it but at least I think it was something like that. Anyways, so like, yeah, that was the previous episode. And again, uh, the main character was unable to find a way to, like, you know, advance. And he again got transported back in time. So let's see what this episode brings, like which new club he joins and like how, like, you know, all of these kind of like comes to the same place again, like, and like how, like, is he able to change his fate or not? So yeah, without further ado, let's get started with episode number five of Tatami Galaxy. All right, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Thank you to whichever is your preference and let's get started. Okay, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. What? What? What are they doing? <laughs> yeah, I even can't see anything. Oh damn, there's like a train coming or something. What are they even doing? Oh. What? Oh, damn. What's happening? What the hell? Wait, does Ozu have a cult of his own or something? <laughs> what? What? Yeah, what did he do? Oh, they're angry at him or something. Total infatuation. Oh, this is his fault. He's kind of accepting it that yeah, this is my fault. Okay. <laughs> like it's funny. Like like all the other episode, he kind of says that like oh like Ozu is kind of like you know messing everything up and all. I'm sure he is of the same opinion in this episode as well. But he says that oh no maybe like this time <laughs> like I was the one at fault. <laughs> Okay, let's see what actually is happening. Okay. I think we have met most of the characters, didn't we? Like all of them characters we can, but I think I can see a few of them who we have still not met. There's like this wooden horse and uh, like, I don't know what that is, like a, uh, like a, a, a doll with a cowboy hat or something? <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. Okay, let's see. Okay, okay. What now? 
Where did he choose now? Softball circle. Oh. Oh. Yeah, they're full of ladies, I can see. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> uh, wow. No, definitely not. Yes. <laughs> Wow, this is... <laughs> oh my god, like, I don't know if, like, this will turn out something completely different or not. Like, he says that it's quite easy going, but maybe they'll change the tune as he gets in or something. What? What now? Okay. Okay! <laughs> What the hell is with the caps? Um <laughs> Yeah, I was saying like they're full of ladies. Oh, everything's looking fine now? <laughs> okay. What? Okay. True, you know? Everyone was far too nice. Oh my god, that's. What? What, what are they talking about? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh my god. Oh no, this is... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I hit it off. Wow. Well, always like if people around him are like this, you know, always laughing, smiling, and kind of saying, ah, it's okay, okay, okay. Yeah, like this type of people. Yeah, like you're gonna get stressed out in this situation. Oh. Who? This is us. Who is this? Wow, she, she doesn't even have a face. <laughs> She's so bright that. Honwakawa. Well, she doesn't even have a face. That means she's not so important in this story, I guess. Or maybe not. Haha. <laughs> 
Okay. Wow. Uhinata. Oh. Damn. Hmm. Oh. So. Oh, so she's not like a member full fledged or something. Damn. What the hell is this? <laughs> like food <laughs> Oh my god. And he will do that, I think. By the worker bees, after oh my god, it is a scam. Oh no, he is again kind of like. <laughs> oh my god oh damn like these things that they're saying you know Oh lord. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, he is stressed out. Oh my god, there we are again. <laughs> she doesn't care, she wants to like do her part. Yes. Anyway, yeah. Yes, dangling in front of you. Grab that opportunity. 5,000. <laughs> Yeah, she is increasing. Oh my god. This is the fifth episode. Oh my god. Two day, two night ceremony. Okay. What? Oh, so that they don't know. Oh my god. Damn. Yes, like I even feel that.
Oh my god, this is... Who the hell is this? Oh my god. It's like a cult leader. This reminds me of Mob Psycho, you know? What? What the hell? Wow. Yeah, like... Wow, this guy. Hmm. <laughs> he is not impressed. Wow. <laughs> run. The main character should run out of here. Like, you know, this is bad. Like, he's getting more and more into the entangled into the mess. Oh. <laughs> this is just a cameo a appearance. Like, you know. What the hell? It seems as, as if he is saying something extremely good, but like, you know, it doesn't even make any sense. Wow. Yes, I don't want to be here. Like. <laughs> Oh no, everyone's stress is getting out. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Is this a place where they like you know throw out all the stress and then they go back to that like persona? Oh Damn Yeah, I think that is like this is like a place for them to Kind of unload all the stress and then then they again go back Like wearing that mask and like you know Wow <laughs> He wants to run away. <laughs> oh no, oh no. Run! Like, this is the biggest... Whoa! <laughs> like, mistake he made. Getting into this thing. Who? Wow. Yeah, it must be old too. I'm sure of it. Or something like that. <laughs> Wow. So this is where... Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> yes, run. <laughs> run out of this place. Damn. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh my god. 
Damn, he's in the wanted list now. Ozu. Plan B, okay. Oh my god, it's this guy. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Oh wow, good. Oh my god! Oh! Okay. Thank god. Oh my god. Where? <laughs> Boarding house. Okay. <laughs> that uh, squishy toy. We didn't even meet. Uh... There you go. I was thinking, where is. The master. That means. He is, yeah, he, she's under Higuchi now. Oh, damn. But he helped him this time, you know. Whoa. What is that? Wait, what? Oh, okay. Oh. Also, this is when he gets that thing again. Okay, the moth is back again. All right. Akashi really had a very less screen time this episode. What the? Who? Who is that? Oh damn, it's... Wait, what happened in the end? I did not understand that. Just a sec. Okay, this is the first time I'm a bit confused. Who was that person with the beard? Oh, like, was that some kind of his, like, you know, um... Like him envisioning, uh, envisioning himself as, like... Okay, I'll have to check that portion out again a little bit. Like, you know, like, we were seeing how he was kind of thinking about Akashi, how, like, you know, they met and everything. And, uh, like, how he kind of got that Mochi... What was the name? Mochi... Mochiguman? Or the squishy toy? And then, like, we suddenly see the person, like, with the beard. And him kind of, like, stacking the, like, you know, cardboard boxes to stop him from getting in. But like who was like it looked a lot like the main character so was that some kind of uh like abstract like you know uh, what can i say like him envisioning himself like that or something was that something like that i think so damn akashi did not even get much screen time this uh, episode like it was just like in the end a little bit Like, he is going more and more, like, you know? Okay. Yeah, that's the end. Like, he is kind of... 
deviating from his goal more and more as time goes on not not time goes on but as the like you know like he continues to uh, like go into these type of parallel worlds and everything like making different choices and all now okay um <clears throat> like uh what was that yeah that that looks like him like he has glasses and he has a beard wait a minute he says that i don't believe it i don't i don't believe in this crazy stuff just a sec like we see him uh, like kind of thinking about the flashback like him meeting akashi san and akashi saying that like we will be in trouble if honeybee is like you know um reduced because there will be increase in moths and uh, uh like main character kind of talks about akashi and we see the moth and he says that she only like uh, fears moths and she like we see him picking up that mochi woman uh, on that bridge and then he remembers the fortune teller like telling that this opportunity is dangling right in front of your eyes and he sees the mochi woman in his room then yeah and then like okay this portion i really do not understand what happens here like he like he gets surprised and like he looks out the what was that his closet into his closet or something and he finds like another person like him with beard you know and glasses and he says like he he looks surprised when he finds the other him and he kind of wait he he doesn't even have a body what the hell I kind of noticed. Wait, now he has a body. What is happening here? Like he kind of comes out from something, and he is talking weird. He's saying like well, 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 like this. <laughs> he's making weird noises, and that is him. Like I can see it now. Like only that he has beard, and the original him that is who is sitting here. He gets kind of freaked out, and like throws cardboard boxes at him, and closes the door. And he says that I don't believe it. I don't believe in occult or crazy stuff. And he and he blocks the place and says that it'll be scary if it were true. How did something like this happen? Greater than the love Hikari, uh, Hikaru Genji felt for uh, his infant daughter Kaguya. I felt fear the likes of which I have never felt before. At this rate, would I not have been happier staying in the Honkawa? No, I have thrown away these past two years. I must face this reality head on with conviction. And then the time changes and he reverts back. I really do not understand what happened in the end. Who was that person? And like, you know, he looked completely like him, but with a beard and mustache. And now, like, I don't know if this is a spoiler, like, like you know, like no need to, like, you know, uh, say anything in the comment section, but if this was something that I like, you know, like I did not understand and like it has no spoilage kind of things, like please be sure to like inform me in the comment section because like that was confusing in the end. I think this is probably something that we are going to see like that is going to get answered in the later uh, like, you know, episode. Okay, like, okay, no need to like tell me anything. Like, let me just wait for it, you know, like, I'll like wait and like, uh, after I see the whole anime, I'm sure we'll like, I'm going to understand what actually happened here. It must be something like this, because like, that really does not make any sense. Like him, like coming out of that closet, I think that was like, like that, like, I think this is something related to the whole time travel thing that's happening. Like, you know, maybe in the future episodes, we're going to see him, like, you know, kind of uh, in this condition with a beard or something. And like, then we're going to get uh like um you know uh like then we're going to understand what actually happened in this episode it must be something like that because like you know like as far as i like all of these episodes all of these four episodes that i've watched i did not have any problem understanding anything so i'm sure like i i know everything what this anime is trying to tell us and i am quite like you know <clears throat> familiar with all the plot points and everything that they have revealed so something like this that I don't understand in this episode 
must be something that will probably be revealed later on so okay like no need to like uh, like tell me anything in the comments like you know like i'll just wait and i'm sure like we're going to get some kind of uh revelation later on because like this is like the whole like whole like time travel uh not time travel technically but time reversal and like you know parallel world like stuff like this has a lot of these kind of things so like weird things might happen now and then which probably might get revealed later on so i'll just wait for it and okay so this episode um this was a really what can i say um uh <laughs> like as he said like a really uncomfortable type of an experience that he had like all of these past episodes he was kind of like everything was kind of straightforward you know like she went he went to a club he thought that oh like everything will be great i'll have a blast i'll have the time of my life and everything and then he realized that oh my god like nothing is like that like everything like like i'm kind of doing here is like pointless i like wasted my two lives uh <laughs> two years and like he realizes it and like you know bad things are bad he kind of recognizes it but here in this episode he wasn't able to say like you know uh, understand uh, what the actual thing was about this club like he got into it and he found out like yeah like how just like how the club advertised like you know like you don't have to do anything like this is not some kind of a professional softball club you'll just be here have fun uh, have a chill time like you know like uh, we won't pressure you into anything just join us like you'll have an amazing time and that's what happened like he got into it and he found out like yeah like it's just what how they said like they're having softball matches and no one is like so serious about it like like they're kind of throwing the balls you know like very slowly and everything and having fun and then there's like the, the girl and boy ratio is kind of like you know tilted towards the girl's direction and as he said like even like as he said that like definitely i did not like join this club because of that but you know like still <laughs> like uh, that was like the main thing that kind of caught his eye and like all of these things like he was quite happy in the beginning but then he starts finding out the problems like he notices that everyone is like making this like you know putting on this fake smile and like having this fake mask in front of them always laughing always like saying that oh like this is happening like and the other guy is saying that oh is that so like that's quite a shame and like th th this weird type of conversations and all no one is laughing like everyone is laughing but in the from their heart no one is laughing it's kind of like that like, these kind of things are extremely uncomfortable in my opinion and he then finds out that like you know whenever he tries to say something because obviously like he cannot like he's not that type of a person he always says what he wants to you know and what he feels that it's appropriate for that situation he cannot uh, like he is not like the main character is not a type of person who can wear a mask in front of him and kind of laugh like the other people are laughing in front of him and like you know saying stuff which he does not feel so he's not that type of a character like person so he says something that he finds funny but the other people like you know thinks that oh my god what is guy what is this guy even saying like can't he like read the like you know what what was it what is it called can't he like read the uh, room or something is that the term we use for this like read the atmosphere yeah i think so like um like can't you like understand like what we are talking about and what you're talking about but so different like they didn't say that like you know with their own mouth but everyone is feeling that and like this is weird type of an aura that comes out of or like you know something like that a weird type of atmosphere that makes you feel so uncomfortable like you know when you say something and people kind of look you like this like you know and say that ah ha ha ha, ha. like you know like oh my god this what is this guy even saying and something like that like it's a weird like atmosphere but anyways like he understands that and then like he 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 thought that oh my god like I I made a big mistake and then comes in the like the chairman's daughter or something I don't know what who that was uh, like yeah I think that that was it and she comes in and <laughs> like, she's such a side character she doesn't even have a fa face <laughs> like she's so like <laughs> she's so bright that her face is completely like you know like glowing and like you cannot see a face and i kind of understood like yeah this girl probably won't have much screen time and yeah that was what happened but he kind of got infatuated and thought that okay like you know like maybe i can like give my all i can like 
like try a little bit harder ozu tried to warn him but like you know he also said that ah like yeah like what are you even saying like i won't buy these kind of health drinks and like the stuff that they're making just so that uh like you know i can increase my uh, reputation and another thing that i should mention here is the whole thing with the amount of money you spend the amount of money you spend uh, trying like you know buying their stuff uh, that amount of reputation you gain that's really like, like that's like a whole like red flag situation like if you get into something like that like you should probably run out of this situation because they will suck you dry if it if it's something like that like you know like money equals to reputation like damn and he isn't even rich you know like he had to like kind of as he said like i had to like uh, go to part time jobs and like <laughs> all of these episodes <laughs> like every time like he has to go to like you know kind of like spend his own, like two years to do something which he, like does not work out in the end like that's basically his life story and <clears throat> same thing happened here he went to all of these part time jobs like earned money and used it on stuff that he probably won't even use just so that he can gain the reputation and get closer to the chairman's daughter unfortunately that chairman's daughter is as they said is kind of like uh what did they call poster girl or something that was basically it like she just came in here showed her face and went back and then later on she also comes for two or five five seconds later on in that conference now like i think like like obviously like this is like a trick that the chairman did like surely like not only him a lot of people like him must have also kind of felt uncomfortable in that situation and decided to like you know leave the club but as soon as they saw the chairman's daughter they also thought something like that and that's how like the chairman and all of the like you know other staff members kind of laid their trap and kind of like you know a you know lured them into the trap and caught them in their grasps and that's how like they started like run, like you know falling down the hole and like like it's, it's it's it was a trap basically and like just like him i'm sure there were a lot of people like him who kind of fell into this trap and decided to spend their two years as well just to run after a thing that they probably wouldn't even be able to get in the future uh not probably but they definitely won't be able to get in the future and you know like by the end of it like uh, the main character kind of understood and then there's this whole thing like this episode really reminded me of that episode from mob psycho you know like i know like this uh, like you know this anime came out a lot bef before mob psycho so but you know like obviously i've seen mob psycho so i will obviously like kind of like mention it here like you remember the, like that episode where like the, the whole thing with dimple like that cult system like everyone was laughing and all like like the atmosphere and everything was so similar here and like what they were doing here is like you know they like they kind of like giving these like grando speech and everything and then they brought them into this room where they're all sitting and the like you know the trainer or whatever the teacher says that like okay like um like whatever you feel in your heart like unleash it everything here and that's how i think they keep the stress level like they maintain the stress level like everyone is so happy outside like laughing and like saying stuff that that don't even mean you know like uh, so the stress builds up and this is a place where they kind of unload it like you know everyone was kind of like saying their own stuff and kind of like uh, like getting mad at stuff and everything and kind of like venting their frustrations here that was basically it and i'm sure like after this session ends after they get out of this room they'll again become this type of a person with the fake smile and laughing at everything and you know like uh, acting like like how they are supposed to act it's sad in a way you know like because like this is not just this anime like i'm sure like situations like this happen in the real world as well i'm definite about it like you know where you are in a situation where like the people like beside you are just like this you know they they're like const continuously laughing like you know wearing a mask like making like you know uh, talking as if like they are acting out a persona or stuff and like saying stuff who what they didn't, don't even mean from their heart and like like that's like a toxic environment like, that was basically it like it was an extremely toxic workplace uh, work environment like everyone was like 
you know like it, it's a weird thing like like this was something i have to say this episode and by the end of it like also kind of helps him out in a way like you know by taking him out of that place and <clears throat> And we meet Akashi-san by the end of it. And Akashi-san like gives a little bit of an um, like you know appearance and like we kind of see that they met each other before in this like you know in this episode as well. But like you know it was kind of shown as a flashback as he remembers where how he met Akashi-san and that squishy toy he found. And like Akashi-san is uh, like working under Higuchi this uh, like this time. Like technically that means like technically she did not get into the same club as him you know but still he was kind of connected to him in a way but also kind of followed him again you know in this episode as well in the same club like like all of these episodes we kind of saw both of them kind of following like the main character like akashi and ozu as well but this episode ozu only came i think and he, like akashi san was also connected to them but kind of like she was in the background so oh, yeah, like I really want to see an episode where like, you know, like the interaction with Akashi-san is a bit more, you know, like always we get this, like these episodes, which kind of focus into like, you know, the other stuff, but like Akashi-san is kind of like the background character, like in uh, most of the episodes. So like, I really, I'm sure like they'll make an episode, like we'll have an episode like that in the future. I'm not sure, but I think so, uh, where we'll probably get like a uh, episode, which is really like, you know, concentrating on Akashi-san. Uh, that would probably be by the end of it, you know, because like like he is still trying to find his way in all of these episodes and like he is like missing the opportunities every like each and every time even though the fortune teller always tells him like <laughs> grab that thing dangling, grab that opportunity that is dangling in front of your nose and he does not understand each and every time. I'm, <laughs> I'm looking forward to the time when he really will understand that what the fortune teller is actually telling him to do and the fortune teller all <laughs> like it's funny like every time the fortune teller <laughs> increases the price by 1000 yen that's hilarious this is the fifth episode and he she made the <laughs> she, she, like, she took 5000 yen for it <laughs> okay that's really fun and i don't blame her you know like this guy he like she always tells this guy to like grab that opportunity by in front of you and he makes a mistake each and every time so like i'm sure the like fortune teller is also getting frustrated and she like just to vent her frustrations she's increasing the money and says that okay i'm, I'm sure in the next episode she'll, she'll, she'll say that it's six thousand yen <laughs> maybe maybe that will kind of remind him that you know like he, probably that will make him realize that wait a minute like i kind of remember this same lady kind of like charging 1000 yen for this fortune telling so why is she charging me 7000 yen or 8000 yen like probably like i don't know if something that might like, if something like that happened that would be hilarious you know <laughs> like <laughs> like he realizes that he is actually like you know like repeating the same thing over and over again just because like he recognizes the increase in price of the fortune telling <laughs> i'm sure that won't happen but you know if something like that happens that will be hilarious so yeah anyways <laughs> and yeah so yeah this like again missed opportunities and let's see what happens in the next episode i'm looking forward to it like how will this go like this is the fifth episode so um uh, like uh, like almost half of the uh, episodes are over half of the anime so i'm sure like we'll get more developments up in the upcoming episodes as we go on like you know uh, probably from the seventh or eighth episode i'm not sure let's just wait for it so yeah so this time i think this time also really helped him you know like, like in, a, in a in a really good way like he kind of like uh, took him out of this whole mess and like as he said like he also kind of mentioned it you know in the beginning like i also kind of commented on it that like he says that this time it's completely my fault and like you know like as he's like usually says that like oh like ozu is actually like kind of the like demon in disguise who always like messes these things up but he did not say it this time because he knew like he knows that this time ozu was the one who saved him from the mess that he himself created like this was completely his fault and i completely agree with it because he was unable to take the decision to get out of this toxic environment just 
like you know like he just wanted to be be there for like uh, for a lady who just showed her face for like a couple of seconds just so that like she he can like you know probably interact with her or like you know kind of uh, what can i say like yeah interact with her and get to know her just for that possibility he stayed there and that is yes his fault in a way but you know one thing like he does not remember these all like you know everything that's happening i think that is like the main problem here because because he do, does not remember he kind of makes the same mistake over and over again i'm sure he'll kind of remember start remembering as he says like he gets this deja vu like you know like things in his mind and he kind of like remembers like little bits and pieces of it so i don't know like maybe it's like in the upcoming episode we might see him remembering more stuff and like when he like actually realizes that oh like whatever i'm doing is something that i should not do and i should grab that opportunity in front of me i don't know let's just wait for it so yeah guys that was it this was episode number five of uh the tatami galaxy so if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to share i'll definitely check them out so yeah thank you guys for watching again and i'll see you guys next week with another episode of tatami galaxy same time so until then goodbye and have a nice day